Today I have the brand new Asus ROG. No, I'm just kidding. It's an old laptop that I'm trying to restore. I mean, what did you expect from me? I'm sitting on the floor right now because, you know, floor gang. This thing is an Asus X53U. It's a pretty old machine, almost 10 years old at this point. And no, it doesn't belong to me. Just because it has my name on it doesn't mean it's mine. It belongs to a friend. No, not him, a real friend. The hardware is so old and outdated that he hasn't used it for a long time, but I'm trying to see if we can repurpose this somehow. Since this thing was not in use or wasn't even being charged for like years together, I know for a fact that the battery is dead. That combined with just 2 GB of memory and an AMD C60 CPU means that this system can't really be used for modern day heavy applications. Oh, and the display has been shot too, somehow. He's aware of this, but he wanted me to check if this laptop can even perform decently well before investing in a new display. I think that's a smart choice. I mean, displays do cost quite a bit these days, even for an old machine. I mean, if you sell this laptop, you may not even get your display's investment. But since the battery is dead as well, we can keep it in one place, pair it with an affordable monitor and maybe use it as a desktop, I think. Let's see what we can do. I mean, opening this is pretty pointless, but I'm just doing it to see what's inside. I know this laptop is extinct, but this is one of the worst arrangements you could do for a motherboard. Everything is on the underside here. That's what she said. You have to dismantle this entire laptop just to get to the fan or if you want to replace the thermal paste. Okay, I just finished cleaning the fan. Let's put everything back together. At least now we know how long it takes to dismantle this if we ever need to. I have a spare 4GB DDR3 memory stick. I'll throw that in with the 2GB one to give it some extra RAM. But my fear is that since this is a laptop, I think the bottleneck will be in the old 1GHz dual core CPU. Let's also put in an SSD instead of a hard disk as a boot drive. Let's say Manjaro. It's a pretty good lightweight distro of Linux. I think it should work well, even in this ancient hardware. I mean, I've had a pretty good experience with Linux distros on my older laptop. So I'm thinking this is the best chance of repurposing this hardware. The system does boot up just fine and the HDMI port works, which is good news. That means that we can still use this thing with an external monitor. But let's see if the performance is good enough to warrant a display repair. Uh, initial impressions are not great. I mean, Manjaro is struggling to open single apps here. Can we at least open YouTube on this thing? No, oh, wow. What is going on? Okay, looking at system monitor, it pretty much confirms my fears. As you can see, both the 1 GHz cores are uh, pretty much maxed out or even maxing out at bare minimum tasks. Even scrolling a simple web page is maxing out both those CPUs over 90%. Playing a video, anything above 360p, yeah, I don't think that's happening. I guess then this could probably be used for like basic document work, right? This can be used as a backup office machine maybe. Let's try if we can do some online document editing with Google Docs. Uh, okay, it kind of loads the Docs homepage. Let's try to edit a document. I mean, it's not a great experience. There's plenty of lag when you're typing. Things take a long time to show up here. Maybe it's a network delay. Let me try downloading it offline. No, the same lagging experience offline as well, which means it's the same CPU bottlenecking everything. Damn, that's like the one thing we can't upgrade on a laptop, right? Maybe you can use this as some kind of an emergency backup system or something. I can't really think of an application for this right now. But it definitely makes me feel grateful for the computing power we have these days. I mean, look at this. This was where we were 10 years ago in terms of student notebooks. And now we can practically do anything we like. Oh well, I guess we got stuck with the worst combination here because both the display and the battery have to be replaced if this has to be a mobile station. Otherwise, you can't use it away from a desk. I mean, the owner has a new laptop, so he's not eager to get this thing back. In fact, he said that you can keep it because obviously he can't use this as it is since he doesn't have an external display. If you have any suggestions on what I can do with this thing, let me know because uh, this thing is pretty weak. I can't really use it for anything else. But I'm trying not to convert this thing into just another landfill waste. I know eventually it will become like that, but maybe we can get some use out of this. I mean, I of course have a separate laptop which is far more powerful than this, so don't worry, this is not gonna be my main workstation. But I'm not a very wasteful person, you know, I don't try to waste things as it is without trying to save them first. Anyways, that's about it. Just wanted to share my experience of trying to revive this 10 year old machine. I mean, from experience, I can tell that this is definitely a little bit more usable than the Windows 7 era where this was out, maybe the hardest drive. 
Manjaro with an SSD and some additional RAM definitely helped it a bit, but not by much. So yeah, DM me your ideas on Discord. Link is in the description.